Let's look at Psalm 37, verses 3 through 7. It says, Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you your heart's desires. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him, and he will help you. He will make your innocence radiate like the dawn, and the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. Be still in the presence of the Lord, and wait patiently for him to act. We could talk about this for a while, but let's just hit a couple big things here. If we delight in the Lord, he will give us our heart's desires. You know, that's one of the most amazing promises. If I put him first and I choose to to try to walk as close as I can with him, I delight in him, how amazing he is. I thank him for all the great things he has done and he will continue to do. He will give me my heart's desires. That's pretty awesome. The interesting thing that I've also found is that my heart's desires will change. He will give me even better desires. He will give me a desire for for even better and bigger things than I've realized that I could have. The other thing here is commit everything you do to the Lord and he will help you. That's very similar to a verse in Proverbs that says, commit your works to the Lord and he will direct your thoughts. Whatever I commit to the Lord, I can trust that he will help me with. But again, it's, it's faith, right? I have to have faith in him that he's going to help me. And then uh, I want to just hit on the last part here. Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. So many Christians need more patience. I have a history of addiction, quite a significant history of addiction. One of the most common factors with all addicts are they have very little patience. We want what we want and we want it right now, right? Well, that's got to change. Patience is a good thing. And here's the cool thing. I can actually ask God for more patience. I've heard some Christians say, well, don't ask for patience because it means the Lord's going to give you additional trials to gain your patience. It's like, no, that, that's not necessarily true. No. One of the fruits of the Holy Spirit is patience. One of the fruits of the Holy Spirit is self-control. Okay? These are things that God wants me to have. I can pray and ask for more of them. One of the fruits of the Spirit is love. I can simply pray and ask him for these things, and he'll be glad to give them to me. So that's a great strategy. Pray into the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. The more I pray for those things, the more God gives them to me. It's awesome. Self-control is amazing. I need that. We need to take God up on his supernatural promises if we want things to be easier for us. And patience is the same thing. I've heard it said, you only have as much faith as you have patience. Faith and patience go together. You can believe God like crazy for something for a couple of days, but if you don't see it and you give up on it, what's the difference as if you never believed in in him to give it to you to begin with. You have to have sometimes patience to see things come. And when the thought comes to mind, why don't I have that yet? I thought thought he was going to give that thing to me. Then it's just, just a reminder to pray and thank him for it. It can be that simple. Healing is very similar. I've prayed for healing for things sometimes a lot. I've prayed for a long time for certain things for healing. And allowed myself to get frustrated by seeing a lack of results, what does that mean? That just really shows a lack of faith. If I am getting frustrated, I am not trusting God. I don't have the patience that I should have. So faith and patience go together. And if I feel myself starting to get frustrated, I simply have to say, "Uh uh-oh, nope, that's a trap. I'm instead, I'm just going to thank you, Lord, for what you've promised to give me. And then I'm going to move on to the next thing to think about, to do. So thank you, Lord. Please give us supernatural patience. Remind us to pray for the fruits of your spirit. And thank you for all your amazing promises. In Jesus' name, amen.